go. This one is so huge. It's a huge one, it's a cargo plane. Guys, this is the overlook. I'm just overlooking to the airport from uh, our apartment rooftop. Yeah, it's a, it has four engines. The bigger. You can see it has four engines. It's a cargo plane. It just came from here. This is the warehouses of the airport where some cargo are stored so this it's coming yes you can see there are some planes over there but this one now it's up approaching the runway it, it looks like it's approaching a runway for takeoff that's four engines one two three four that's four engines one side of the wing two and the other side two yeah. so fascinating uh, airport fuel point from up here where I am so most of the times when you are up here you just overlook into the airport you can see others are there and this one is turning around for takeoff it is taxing to the runway so from this far distance you cannot tell which airline is that but it is taxing to the runway man it's so big that one doesn't stop it just it takes off straight as it enters the runway and immediately it takes off powers engines and then there it goes and sometimes they are so swift. There it goes. The windows. Yo, 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 yo. And the wind is blowing today. Man. You can see the beautiful view of, of the airport, JKIA International Airport. There it is, there it goes, that side, can see, we can see it taking off to the east side of the airport, there it goes, there you go. It's gone. So guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I go by the names of S4 Nochengo. Today I'm at the roof, rooftop of our apartment. I just wanted to show you around so that you can familiarize yourself with Nairobi and see my neighborhood where I live. Maybe sometimes uh, so many people think like maybe African countries I made of slums or something else but I just wanted to do a small clip to show you around my neighborhood where I live of course I live very adjacent to the Kenya International Airport which is Sheikhai which is to this side of my left and it's an international airport once you come to Kenya this is the first place you, you, you are supposed to land and then enter into Kenya. So today my small video, I wanted to do, to do just a, a small clip showing or now some parts and places of this Nairobi look like. So like this idea, it's Nyayo Estate of which I'm gonna show you. I wanna show you on Nyayo Estate and a small estate here in Embakas East, which you are gonna see also. So guys, 
if it's your first time you are on this youtube channel guys please consider subscribing hit that subscription button and watch my videos because i'm gonna show you today like where i live and how my neighborhood looks like so go on watch hit that, 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 that subscription button and hit that bell to make sure like whenever i upload my videos you don't miss any of them and of course we are loading to 5000 so in case you are watching this video and you are not subscribed guys please consider subscribing to my youtube channel and let's grow together let's tour around this country together and even let's go international together so let me show you around and show you on how this place looks like so this is the area around the airport it's very adjacent to the airport as i told you so if i can zoom in to this east side this is JKIA. as you can see there is a, a small plane on on the runway and others which are docked here at the airport this is the area where i live this around my area these are our suburbs a, a small slum this is what a slum looks like here in nairobi so in case you think like we don't have houses this is how the slum looks like on a typical day so we have roads it's not that when it's a slum it doesn't have roads and that's the slum side of of nairobi though it, it's a, a standard slum not that slum like we don't have houses so it's a it looks like this and this is the rich side of the city where the riches or the medium like those who have uh, uh, they are medium medium earners where they, they live this is the estate where they live and of course the blue the apartments behind there they are made for those workers who work, who work at the airport uh, like the security guys who work at the airport they live at these houses here with the blue roofing and these ones this with the red are the estates for they used to be for nssf national social whatever for retirement fund so it's called in your estate this is where people live but i think they sold it, this apartment and they are owned by individuals by now so this is how nairobi looks like on a typical day you can see the clouds so beautiful the city is so beautiful if you have never toured to, to nairobi or east africa guys consider touring this city it's a very nice city and of course it's a very very safe place for you to tour so let me show you around of course i'm at the rooftop of our apartment that's where i'm shooting this video from so consider touring in nairobi it's a very nice city let me let me show you over the horizon i oh, know this place looks like let's zoom our eyes and see how nairobi how beautiful nairobi is this is what it looks like so you come to nairobi you you don't expect like you'll miss a place to sleep airbnbs and all these things well that's the horizon let me zoom like if we can see the city center the nairobi city center is over there with those towers at the background that's the cbd nairobi city center that's how nairobi looks like guys 
Welcome to Nairobi. And this over here, which looks like a plane, this building, the white building, is Kenya Aviation School, where pirates are being trained. It's a government uh, institution where, like, pirates go to take their lessons in this country. So it's Kenya Aviation School. So write your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this video, what you think about Nairobi, and what are your perceptions there before, before you saw this video. This is what the city looks like. This is Nyayo Estate. Guys, look. Enjoy beautiful sceneries from me here. It looks like it's gonna rain today. That's why you can see the crowds, man. Look at that. Let me show you around so that you can catch what I'm trying to show you. Look at the horizon, man. This place is so good. This is where I stay, man. This is our apartment. We are very close to the airport. Chomo Kenyatta International Airport, sorry. Wow. The wind is blowing. I don't know if you can hear me. That's what this city looks like. That's an Nairobi 3D. This is what people call slums. Of course, it's because uh, these houses like these ones are made of the roofing is for iron seats and the sides are iron seats. So the rooms go for like from uh, fifteen dollars to twenty dollars. That's the cost of the rent per month here in Nairobi for this these houses which are half roofings like with iron seats and sides are iron seats. But for these ones, for these ones, they go for around like as from uh, like forty-five dollars. They go as from forty-five dollars upwards. These apartments, three bedroom, and uh, of course they have water and everything, and you have a uh, very very safe parking like you can see here and they are gated communities unlike this side where you can just come in from anywhere but uh, I haven't said like they don't have gates because once you enter into this one house you must have to enter through gates it's only but that like they are not of that standard where you can Feel like you are safe because sometimes sometimes you can see like if you have seen my previous videos the history catch fire and sometimes uh, most of them they don't have running water you must have to go to some designated places people selling water at uh, some some cents of dollars for a 20 liter so it's not like they don't have waters because here in the slums we also have water but at some sharing points where you can go and buy the commodity these are also apartments here they are called skyline apartments so they also go for around as from 40 to 50 dollars and considering the proximity like 
we are very adjacent to the international airport so some prices can even go even higher more than that so that's how we stay here that's my surrounding that's the area where I, I live you see that how do you like that the skyline of Nairobi how do you like that today the sky has a lot of clouds it, it rained somehow last night I think also today it's gonna rain uh, like I can see like approximately two to three hours from now it's gonna rain so that's how this place looks like that's our city Nairobi and particularly we are not denying like in Nairobi there are no slums where life is so hard and it's not as such as easy like finding like essential uh, commodities like water and sanitation places like toilets but also this is the other side of Nairobi city where maybe I can say like we are privileged and I can say like other slums the real slums are not like this this is a same slum like I can say because uh, as much as it is a slum but also uh, there's like uh, essential commodities and and sanitary places like toilets are available so it's I cannot say like it's a, a such like a slum but there are places here in Nairobi we are finding such things uh, sometimes it's it's not very very easy so I'm gonna show you around those places sometime if you keep on watching my videos that's why I insist like you should subscribe to my YouTube channel because I just found like many of my my viewers are not subscribed like 99% of my viewers are not subscribed so guys that's a lot to subscribe and that's a lot to 5000 and and get monetized so when we just do our laundry this is where we hang them for drying unlike developed countries where you just dry your your clothes uh, at a laundry or by using a washing machine but here we just hang them on hanging lines for them to dry for from wind or the sun or something so it's different here in africa that's how we stay here that's my neighborhood so guys please consider subscribing to my youtube channel watch my videos because now i have very very low watch hours before i get monetized of course i have just passed a 1000 mark for monetization but watch hours still uh, i'm very low that's why i ask you like keep on watching my videos and maybe sometime we are gonna get monetized and starting uh, start earning revenues uh, from these videos so that we can have some money and maybe buy a gopro or a nice camera and like now i'm doing with uh, my phone buy a nice gopro camera and do quality videos and start traveling showing people around because really that's what i i plan like that's what i want to do so thank you guys thank you for watching my videos and that's how we stay here in the city
That's my city. Beautiful sceneries. Very, very beautiful. That's what Nairobi looks like. Some parts of Nairobi though. Though also I'm gonna go around and show you places like I've been doing. It's only by you watching and subscribing to motivate me to continue doing these videos. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. I was up here at the rooftop and I saw it better like it's good if I shoot this video and show people who think like Nairobi is a jungle. This is the Nairobi which nobody will ever show you. They will just show you uh, slums which don't have water, which don't have toilets. But also this is the other part of Nairobi. You can see it looks like some people may think like this this is not Nairobi but man this is Nairobi so thank you for watching this video and give it a thumbs up write your comments down below let me know what you think about this video and subscribe let's load to, to 5000 now we are at almost reaching 2000 but now we should be aiming high like loading to 10000 all to loading to 5000 and watch my videos let's get monetized thank you for watching of course and that's it for now from to, from my video today. Yeah, that's Nairobi city center over there. Around 25 kilometers from here. So Nairobi is so wide. And it can even reach up to those mountains over there. That's also Nairobi. Those mountains over there without forgetting towards this side, the east side, this is the east side of Nairobi. Some other places, of course, it's raining now, as you can see, if I can zoom like this one, towards Mount Kenya region, it's raining. So, welcome to Kenya, and visit this beautiful country, you never regret. And it's very peace peaceful. Nobody will report that, like what you're doing. So long as you are clean and genuine. And you feel safe in Nairobi. Thank you and let's meet on our next video.